that's what's happening. It is a beautiful spring day and the trees are finally starting to blossom. It's beautiful. And as you can probably tell, I'm sitting at the hospital. It's our second day at the hospital. Yesterday we were all day up at Cleveland at the Cleveland Clinic main campus for V. Uh, trying to get to the bottom of some serious issues that she's having. Uh, and today we are at the Medina Hospital Cleveland Clinic so she can get some scans on her brain uh, and that is for her cancer just you know to keep updated to, to keep check on the cancer make sure it's not coming back into her brain so I'm sitting out here in the truck waiting for her while she's in there getting her scans you know no sense in me going in the hospital and just sitting around uh, you know with a bunch of sick people in there and actually I think it's pretty safe anyways I think this pandemic thing is kind of falling past us but still everybody's wearing masks you know and and uh, they're very strict about going in and out of the hospital and, and want to know your business and take your temperature and everything else so I'll just wait here until she texts me and tells me that she's ready to roll now as I said just today alone the trees are starting to blossom I see you know the crab apples are starting to open up and blossom and the flowers you know are, are your spring flowers are really going to start to pop already though the daffodils have been up and blooming and I got a buddy that lives not too far from here uh, he lives on the property that his parents uh, owned and that, that he grew up on both his parents are gone now and he lives there by himself but before his dad passed away his dad had planted thousands and thousands of daffodils on the property now it's said to be one of the biggest daffodil blooms in Ohio I don't know we're gonna check it out though uh, he told me that uh, this would be the week to come and see him so after I pick up Val from the hospital here uh, we're gonna zip over to his place and uh, see what these daffodils are all about so we'll see when we get over there we arrived at the gulch this buzzy's place here they got the uh, ditch back here the Granger ditch which is what Rocky River yeah Rocky River north branch of the north branch of the south branch yeah he could drive right in the water here we used to when we were kids we didn't have a driveway we had to come to up here yeah. Yeah, the spring flowers are coming out. Starting to. This bush here has been here my whole life. This is a uh, branch of the Rocky River. So, right in the back, yeah, right in your backyard. These are just washed in. Forsythia is in bloom. I take my tractor over here and pile them up here so I got a place I can walk down here oh okay I just use my loader yeah he got Buzz got a tractor and a bucket on the front so he can do some landscaping around here what a beautiful day nice spring day it Hard is, to beat first it, is. Nice days. it is it's a little too warm today so Buzz is gonna start a fire here <laughs> Don't be, don't be filming that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, I, get down, I got too much. Uh, I need a heavier flywheel. So I got a bigger one. I'll put a hole in there. It looks like you got something burned there, though. A little yeah, bit. I didn't get it hot enough to start cooking. And you know, they say it's the type of wood you got to use, too. Some woods are this work cedar. better. It's the cedar, which is supposed to be the best. Oh, okay. So you're going primitive, huh? Yeah? You're going to start your fires now with a stick. Well... <laughs> He's, an, I he's never, I think he's an old buckskinner. I've never heart. done it, so I figured I'm gonna do this. There you go. Liz was picking flowers, huh? Oh, I know. I got every kind. I picked them all. <laughs> she picked all the flowers. Now there's none Sorry. left for us to see. Yeah, I don't... It's as far as you can see in these woods. As far as you can see. There's daffodils, and they're all different too. Look at these, just white ones. 
very pretty right over here we got little yellow ones and those are different right there those are beautiful and they're just everywhere daffodils as far as the eye can see crazy some of them are in these some of them are in rows but some of them are just randomly staggered around pretty cool buzz and v are down here picking them he's got a vase he's gonna help her pick and we're gonna fill it up and take them home Well, that was quite a tour, wasn't it? I mean, it, you know, obviously you can't quite get the depth of how many daffodils there were there. They just went on forever. In fact, we got back in his Jeep and he took us further on up through the woods there and it just continued more and more and more as we went. It was just amazing. And his dad planted all those. That just blows my mind how someone could spend that much time planting flower bulbs in the woods like that. So. Yeah, really neat. And uh, it was good to get out and get some fresh air today. It's like 80 degrees. It's like a summer day. And just overnight, <laughs> this pear tree has blossomed. So, like I said, the flowers are popping. Well, thanks for joining us on this little adventure today. Uh, wasn't much, but uh, it was fun and V got to get out and Be out in the woods a little bit too and enjoy herself and she got quite a bouquet of flowers too to put in the house, so I think I'm gonna go in and put some hamburgers on the grill and uh, Get something to eat and Just uh, relax the rest of the day and thanks for joining us uh, Give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We'd love to have you join us until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.